Hey friends, welcome back to the shop. We are gonna change gears a little bit with Project Herald and actually go back to the rear end to work on the next project. This is to actually replace the rear cross member. Now this particular project wasn't on our short list to do, but once again, in true fashion, CJ Pony Parts had to have a really good sale on a replacement cross member, and I had to freaking get it. So the reason why we decided to go ahead and get it is when you lower these particular trucks, you lose the original pinion angle that is set up through the drivetrain. And that could cause issues, especially under load. So we went ahead and went with this one because one, the pinion angle is off, Two, there is something else with these that really kind of sets up something that we have planned with the exhaust, but now with this new cross member, we no longer have to worry about cutting them ourselves. So let me show you what we're going with. Now what we're replacing the stock with is the CPP center cross member for the 63 to 72 C10s. A few things that I really like about this. One is the correct angles for the stock trailing arms since we did not have adjustable trailing arms. So this will make the pinion angle correct. These cutouts here, which we're actually going to use for exhaust. This saves us from having to buy a hole saw and worry about cutting the original for exhaust. In addition to that, they have these little swoops here on the side to be able to run our, all of our wires as well as brake lines without having to take anything off, so it'll be really easy. In addition to the regular instructions that come with this, we also have all of the hardware and new main bolts. Now for this project, we have two challenges that we have to get through. The first, is the cab is still on the frame. The second of the two challenges is we have eight more rivets that were molten in the depths of hell by Satan himself that we have to cut off. I swear, just when I think that we are finished with rivets, then we end up looking at some other project that we have to do, some other upgrade. And two of those rivets happen to be under the cab. So I am really hopeful that we can end up getting inside the frame and cutting off one head of those to be able to push it up from the bottom. Or we're going to end up having to take off the cab mounts on the rear, lift it up to be able to get to them. N nah, I really don't want to do that. So... Let's get in to go ahead and start cutting off what we can, and then we'll tackle the harder ones later. When you have a big ass nail that you have to drive, you need to step up your hammer game. And thanks to Harbor Freight and their 4th of July sale going on, the Insider Club discounts stepped up to the biggest hammer that I could get and if you have ridiculous metal that you have to hammer through go ahead and invest in the long throw pro bits they are worth every dollar otherwise if you go cheap like I did the first time then this is what happens the bits just completely get mushroomed cheap not good for very strong metals.
Well, finally got all of them out. See all the metal carnage and bits on the floor, shavings from all of these. I uh, actually end up having to take the frame or the bed mount off of here because some of the rivets, as they were pushing them in, and I guess they were hot molten at that point, they were sandwiching in between the cross member and the frame. So although you'd cut off the heads, there were still more inside between the two. So I had to take this completely off in order to be able to get that front rivet out. But now I'm going to go ahead and sledgehammer this thing out, uh, clean up all the, the mess where the old cross member was, and then uh, we'll go ahead and paint it and get the new one in. We are back and laid down a good bit of Eastwood's rust encapsulator as well as their chassis black. So now it's time to get it all back together. I didn't take this rivet off and uh, it was catching underneath so hopefully getting this further up in there we'll be able to slowly get this on Well, that kicked my ass there. Rubber mallet, the savior of this project, for sure. Finally have it in. That took some work, a lot more work than what I actually thought that it was going to take. However, I ran into an issue where I had too much gap on one side and not enough on the other side, so the holes would not line up on both sides. And of course, you can't hit this left to right without compromising the welds. So, CPP has three holes right here. And I figured that I would end up bolting up a 2x4 using the trusty sledgehammer. And then hitting each side of the 2x4 in order to be able to move this, you know, the 1 8 to a quarter of an inch over where all the bolts have now lined back up. All right, now time to get these trailing arms back up and bolted in.
up the mortar. <coughs> now you're too high. Makes you work for it. Wow. That damn thing definitely wore me out. Time for a beer. A cold beer. All I can do is hope now that we don't have to take off any more rivets on this damn truck. And we don't have anything else from a upgrade or mod standpoint that requires as much effort as getting that cross member did. But overall, very happy with the end result. Trailing arms look much better at the angles that they're at. Everything looks good. Definitely lost some weight on shedding the old stock one. So it's time to move on to the next piece on the project and the build. So thanks for joining along. We certainly appreciate you. Until next episode, take care, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Cheers.